Hey everybody, it's me, Sassy CN, back for another couple of quick videos trying to try to throw out there for you today. I'm sorry I haven't put out more. I'm kind of tight because I'm still working full time and I try to fit it in when I can when there's nobody home. Okay, today I'm going to do a little one on um, how I help correct my lines and burrows around my eyes. I mentioned before in prior videos how light colors tend to bring out and dark colors recede where well, you can apply that towards your makeup as well to help correct for wrinkles. Now you don't want to put tons in there because then you don't want too much to settle in the lines but if you do it lightly and you do it right it won't and it'll make your lines a lot less notable than furrows. Now what I do is I use two different colors of concealers. Always the more neutral colored one, your skin color kind of close to it, uh, darker one, and then I have a one that's a few shades lighter, a lighter one. These are the NYX Born to Glow ones. They unfortunately discontinued these as I know and they were my favorites because um, they weren't too dry. So I'm going to have to find some substitutes for this, but they do have other ones. The near the Bear With Me one, I believe, now is, an, is a nice one, but it's more of a pump, but you can use that as well. Um, when I have darkness around my eyes, I tend to use a little yellow first. <coughs> Excuse me. Yellow counteracts the purple tones. Um, if they tend to be more purpley colored, on the color wheel chart, you'll see that yellow and purple kind of opposites, and that's what makes them counteract that. Yellow can also be used from some redness on the face if you have a lot of redness. If it's not that red, if you tend to be really red, you want to go more towards with green because that counteracts the red. People who are more darker skin tone tend to go with peaches, oranges, and a reddish color they use to help counteract that because they tend to be more brown. Without getting too much oil into that now, um, I can do more of that in another video. I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to put a little yellow here now just to counteract a little bit because that's not really what today's video is about. I'm just going to put a little yellow there in my corner before I put on my flesh tone because that will counteract it. Now I'm going to use the darker flesh tone one, which is more closer to my tone. This is vanilla. I'm going to use it in the corner here. So I can counteract a little bit of the purpley mesh there. You only need a little bit with this too. That's why I loved it because it gives a great coverage. You only needed a little. The Bear With Me one now they have your natural one. Um, actually covers really well too and it's not too drying. So I'll probably switch to that one when I'm done using this one. So one darker one goes here closer to my own flesh tone. I think I've got just a little too much out. I can use it towards my outer corners though because I tend to get purpley there as well. You can actually even use, like I said, I've used before too, is I use my concealers as a shadow base. You don't really need to buy a separate shadow base. You can actually just use that. Okay? Now that's the darker one. Now the lighter is what's really going to bring out the furrows and the lines. So now you want to put the lighter tone in those furrows over here. How far they go down. I have lines around my lips, so I kind of want to put some over there. It might have more focused on the right. Then I have the marionettes that kind of come down here. Yeah, I'm full of them, I know. And a little over here, I put it as well to bring out that little indention I tend to have over here. You can put it in your marionette lines here, they call those frown lines, and smile lines, whatever. That'll bring it out too. I don't recommend putting a lot because you don't want it to settle in the lines too much. Just a little. I'm going in with my number three. You know me, my number three. Hey, it's always handy. It's always there for you. So I'm just going to pat it. Now, always when you're applying, if you want to get your best coverage out of any concealer, foundation, or pat, don't pull. When you pull, you thin the coverage. You don't want to do that. You just want to pat it in place so you're getting the full coverage that you want to get out of that concealer. Okay? So that's going down in that. Those furrows, the lighter color. 
that's going to go right down in those lovely teardrop burrows that come down over here. See? So you can see how it's already kind of bringing that out when you bring it out. Pat this one in. Think Sassy Sam might have got a message on her phone. Hope it don't keep dinging. Now I'm gonna do it over here by my lip line. That's what happens when you kind of do this a one shot deal. Yes, you see, and does all our videos one shot deal, one and done. Here we go with the things. Okay, so now you can see how that brought that out, and you don't see it as much. You can set it with a little powder. Just to hold it lightly in place. Don't put a lot. Put a lot. You dust it off with a loose powder brush. I'm just going to set it in there just a little bit. I don't put it all underneath because I don't like powder all underneath my eyes. I just do it on that area where I've set that. And you can see it's really brought that out. You can't see them as much. Um, I do it after my foundation because I want to bring the light color out. If I did it under the foundation, the foundation would just cover it. Let's put some of my lips back so you can see it better. Nothing like trying to do this one and done. I'm getting messages in. Slap is when you want to do this one shot deal. I'm just going to put a little Lipstick there. So you can see my lip lines they don't look as noticeable. The furrows under my eyes don't look as noticeable. It brings it out with a lighter color. One and done. So what do you think guys? Try it out. You'll see it really does help a lot with bringing it out and making it look less noticeable. Just another little trick. So, you know never finishes her videos without a song. Yeah. So what should we do today? You guys haven't been giving me any suggestions. Send them along, please. Okay? Because I want some more songs to do on my videos. And I need a little help. So let's just start this one today. Ready? Because you're going to be seeing more of Sassy Sand out there. Give me some suggestions, what you want to do. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, because guess what? I'm unstoppable. I'm a Porsche with no brakes. I'm invincible. Yeah, I win every single game. I'm so powerful. I don't need batteries to play. Actually, but this I do. I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable today. Unstoppable today, unstoppable today, unstoppable today, I'm unstoppable today. Don't forget to turn in for some more videos. I'll try and pop another one out as quick as I can. Sorry about the dings, but you know I like to do them one and done. I'm live. Follow Sassy Sam for more videos. Hope you like my tips. See you later.